hello guys welcome once again and in today's video I'm gonna show you that how can you actually run Windows media player inside of your C sharp form or C sharp application okay so let's get started and let's see what we need to drag outside on the form in order to run the video inside the form and what are those steps by following which we can get our target video to run on our form okay so let's get started and first of all you need to go to the toolbox and on the toolbox you will go down mm, okay you have nothing so just right click on any of it any of the item and click on here choose items and when you will hit choose items you will be presented with this kind of dialog box so in here you need to select this com components so when you will select that okay it will load all the available components of your computer system right in front of you okay so you can see that it has loaded so we need to search here for windows media player actually so scroll down until you find that uh, here it is this is windows media player so just select it select this okay take this and then hit ok so now if you will go into your toolbox you will be able to see that windows media player right inside okay So dragged it out here okay I have dragged it out and I want to replace that uh, sorry resize that but if you will go to the toolbox we will be able to see that right here that we have this Windows media player right here so you can drag it out here either or uh, it will already be dragged when you will add that okay so now when you have uh, this windows media player so now you will resize that so that you can view the screen as well as well as all the stuff okay so now this is resized right so now I will do another thing and that is uh, actually in order to run a file I have to have a choose file button and I have to have a path of that file so that this windows media player can identify that path and then can run that file okay so for that purpose I will go here into my toolbox and I will drag out a text box okay so here it is so I'll drag it out here so this is my text box so inside this text box I wanna have the path of the file that user will give so I also need to drag buttons here I'll drag four buttons and then I will tell you why I have dragged four buttons so this is first button that I have dragged now I need to drag another one then I will rename all of the buttons okay so don't worry about that so I need to drag another one and then I will go and I will drag another button okay so now I have dragged four buttons so now I will rename that button as choose file okay because certainly I need to choose a file in order to run it on my form in Windows Media Player if I won't choose then how will I come to know that this is a okay sorry I have changed the name so I needed to change the text actually so I'll come to the text and I'll change that to choose file alright so now your button name has been changed to choose file and now these are the three buttons that I can uh, use to start pause and to stop my video whatever it will be okay so what I will do I will also change the text of this button as start then I will change this button to 
false then I will change this button to stop all right so now you can see that I have three buttons start pause and stop this will actually work with my Windows media player remember that I can control volume from here only the volume I cannot control my start and stop and pause button from Windows play Win Windows media player in my form so that's why I have created these three buttons to control and inside these button the events of inside the events of these buttons I will be needing to write a code okay so now I'm pretty much done with bragging and now I need to double click on the choose file button and in here I will write the code that I have been writing from the pre previous so many videos so I hope you will be familiar with that open file dialog okay so now I need to new open file dialog close so I have created an open file dialog object so now I need to check that uh, now the dialog has been opened so I need to check that if user has selected something or not so for that purpose I will write an if condition if d dot show dialog and that is double equal to because uh, in if condition double equal means equal so double equal system dot windows dot forms and the next thing that I'm gonna write is dot dialog result dialog result dot okay all right and now I'm gonna put curly braces and inside these curly brackets I am going to write one thing uh, I don't know why it is giving me the error right here so system dot windows dot forms dot dialog result dot okay mm. Yeah, I didn't uh, put parentheses here. So when I will put parentheses, you will see that the uh, error is gone now. So in here, I need to write the name of the text box in which I want to print the path of the file that will be selected. So I will go here and choose this text box and I will copy the name of the text box from here. So I will search for the name. I will scroll up and if there is text box 1, so I will copy that. I'll go to the choose file and in here I will write this dot the name of the text box then dot text is extension and then I'll put equal to the object of file dialog open file of file dialog and that is d d dot file name okay so now what it will do it will open a dialog and it will check if user selects any file then what it is gonna do that it is gonna copy that part of that file into the, that text box that I have given the name okay so in this text box actually alright so I hope you have got the concept here so now what I am gonna do I will be dealing with my start button so this is pretty simple that uh, my event of my start button is created so inside here I need to select this windows form and I need to copy the name of windows form whatever it is so I will copy that and I will go here into my code I will paste that name and then what I will do I will write here dot url so the url it is gonna take that path file from here so I will directly write the name of this text box and that is text box one dot text so what it is gonna do it is gonna take that file path from here and it is gonna assign to the media player and then the final moment comes where I just need to play that so I will just simply copy paste the name of my player again and I will write here dot ctl control dot play sorry for that dot play so we are done here with our play button so now coming to the next this is a 
uh, we are done with start button right yes so now we will come to the pause button and we will select pause and in here we just need to write one line the name of that media player then ctl controls then dot pause okay so we are done with the pause button too so now coming to the last but not least that is the stop button so when we hit the stop button we'll go here and we'll write here the same thing dot ctl controls dot stop okay so now we are done here so what we have done we have first chose our file and the path will appear here in the text box then we have chose the start button the path will be copied to the start button and then it will run so we can pause here by selecting this and we can also stop that by selecting the stop button i hope you have got the concept so now the time is has come to run our program so we will run our program so now you can see that our program has started running so we will do what we will choose file here okay so now it will open a file dialog for me and from where i will select a file okay this file dialog has opened for me so i'll go to my desktop okay and from here i will search for uh, a video so let's say this video so i will select this and i will open so you can see that the path of the file has been copied here so i will stop it the volume uh, so it cannot distract the video so when i will start so it is saying that okay so it is asking me that it has an extension that does not match the file format okay so let's try it so it is actually not running because it has so it is running now okay so the unexpected behavior you can see here so you can see the light what is that volume is also working okay so this was an .flv file so it is still running on windows media player so you need to know one thing that windows media player uh, supports uh, a little you know a little amount of extensions of the video files right so some files may run on that pretty well but uh, on the other hand uh, some files may not work okay so what if i want to pause that video so when i will hit pause you can see the video is paused so when i will start it will start running again okay so now when i start running let's say i want to stop this video okay so when i will stop this video when i will hit stop you can see the video has been stopped okay so you can see that uh, these ones i think i thought that they will not work but in here in this case these are working but we are we have not specified any file this file path with this so it will not work that way okay so you have to specify the file path and i have specified the file path in these buttons not here okay so i have specified in these buttons so when i will hit start you can see the windows media player is working via these buttons okay so when i will pause this it will pause from here when i will play it it will start playing but at start when you have chosen the file and when you have stopped this you won't be able to run that file from here okay so i hope you have got the concept here right so i hope you have enjoyed today's video so thanks for watching and please wait comment subscribe bye for